Hi, beautiful friends, and welcome to your yoga practice to stretch your body. Today, this flow will give you the opportunity to settle into your body, to stretch and relax, as well as in your mind. Effective yoga in uncertain times, and to bring more peace into our days. We're going to start this practice into a seated position, anchoring our sit bones into the mats, rolling our shoulders away from the ears and elongating our spine. We're going to start by rolling the shoulders away from the ears four or five times and closing our eyes, deepening our breath to get into your physical body. Palms resting on our knees, feeling the fresh air around you, hearing the different noises, sounds, and maybe bring a little smile on your face. We're going to start by doing some circles with our upper body to the right, keeping the hips aligned and the sit bones on the mat. We're trying to feel into this stretch and then we'll do the other side on the left. So big circles, shoulders come forward and back, right and left. And try to connect to your breathing, linking the breath with the movement. Now reach your hands up to the sky and twist to the right Right hand on the right knee, left hand behind us, twisting from the middle of the spine. Now reach your hands up, come back to center, and twist to the left. Reach your hands up and twist to the other side. Come back to center, inhale and exhale, twist. Beautiful. Now come on your knees and let's get into a child's pose. So knees wide open, big toes touching and walk your hands forward, letting the forehead onto the ground. Taking this time to set an intention for our practice, to connect with the breath, to make space into our minds. To soak in all the benefits of our practice. Really try to pull length in the spine and create space into your body as well. A deep inhale and a deep exhale. Now walk your hands to the left. And maybe put your right hand onto your left hand, keeping the hips adjusted and anchored into your heels. And really feel the stretch in the right side of your body. Amazing. Now come back to center and walk your hands to the right. Same thing. Now come back to center again and we'll come into all fours position. So shoulders above the wrist, hips above the knees and we'll come into a cat cow position. So first arch the back and look up, feeling the deep stretch into the spine and then round the spine from the bottom to the top and then look to your belly button. 
really doming the upper back. And then let's flow through this. So arch the back, look up, inhale, and exhale, round the spine. And again, inhale, arch the back. And exhale, round. Inhale, look up. And exhale, tuck the toes and lift the sit bones high to come into a downward facing dog. So that's our first one. So don't hesitate to bend through the right knee and then to the left. Come up to the tippy toes. And then exhale, working the heels down towards the floor. Micro bend in the knees, pull length from the spine, push into your hands down to the floor and create space into your neck area. Really suck the tummy in, abs in, and take some deep breath here. Now roll your spine forward to come into a high plank and then slowly coming down onto the ground, elbows brushing. Now cobra, so roll the shoulders away from the ears, hands beside the wrist, radiate your heart forward, inhale and then exhale release down to the floor, hands come forward to the front of the mat and push your torso away from the floor and then exhale come back down. So coming back on the fingertips and then flooring through this movement to really create space in the upper body. And then inhale, come back to your child's pose. Buttocks to heels, hands forward, before coming back into our downward facing dog. Take some profound, deep inhales and exhales. And then lift your right foot up to the sky, bending the right knee, making some circles with our foot. And then send your right foot in between your hands to come into a low lunge. Hands onto the knee, making sure our hips are paddled to the front of the mat as much as we can, engaging the abs. And roll your shoulders down the middle of the spine. Feeling this stretch into the hamstring and the quad. Now hands to the mat, straighten your right leg, pointing the toes out to the sky and micro bend the knee, feeling a deep stretch within the back of the leg, inhale, elongate your spine and with an exhale, try to get your chest closer to your thighs. Keeping the hips well above the knee. And then come back into a low lunge, bending for the right knee, and move floor a little bit through this movement. Take some deep breath in and out, and then come back to your half split. Straighten your right leg, and then come back to a low lunge. And half split, exhale. Take some deep breath in and out. Long spine, come back to low lunge, exhale. Come back to half split. Now we're going to come into lizard pose. So open your right knee out to the side, coming on the edge of the right foot, only if it feels comfortable for you.
abs in. Really stretching that inner hip. You can maybe grab your left foot with your right hand to increase your stretch. And then release, gently coming back into downward facing dog. And then let's do the same on the other side. So left foot to the sky and plant it in between your hands, coming into a low lunge. Right knee to the ground, hip are adjusted and aligned. Your left knee is above your heel. You're engaging your abs. Straighten your left leg, micro bend your knee, toes pointing out to the sky. Keep a long flat back, inhaling and exhaling. And then come back to low lunge, deep breath in, and then strengthen your leg, half split, exhale. Before coming into our lizard pose, opening the left knee onto the side, coming onto the left edge of our feet, and taking some deep breath in and out, bringing oxygen into this deep hip opening. Then grab your left foot if it feels comfortable. And then release, come back to center, and let's come back in downward facing dog. Bending through the right and left knee, re-neutralizing our spine before walking the feet in between your hands. Flat back, halfway lift, dive forward, forward fold, bending through the knee, maybe grabbing your ankles, and take a little relaxing time here. The head is hanging. Maybe come into your ragdoll, hands to opposite elbows. Reconnecting to your breath. Hands come flat to the floor and open your feet to the edge of the mat to come into your yogi squat, malasana. So elbows are pressing inside the knees so that your hands can come into a prayer position. And then release your hands behind you and find a seated position. Extend your legs forward, toes pointing out to the sky, and hinging from the hips, bend forward, reaching your hands as far as you can for Paschimottanasana. Finding a deep stretch along the legs. Try to roll the shoulders away from the ears, finding some stillness here. Now inhale, come up, bring your hands behind you, feet flat to the floor and lift your hips up to the sky to find a reversed bridge. You can lean forward and back a little bit, engaging the abdomen and then release your hips to the ground and find a seated position, feet flat together and let the knees fall open to your sides. You can grab your ankles, and just let your body relax forward. Really rounding to, through the spine here and letting ourselves softening. Cooling down for the end of this practice. Now inhale, come back up. 
and then bring your right ankle on top of the left knee, trying to get your right shin to be parallel to the mat. We're stretching the right glute here. And then release and do the other side. So you try to keep your torso open and straight. And then when you're ready, release your legs and come into a seated position cross-legged. Inhale, grow tall, and exhale, walk your hands forward, bending from the hips, stretching our glutes, and also take this position as a reverence to yourself for showing up on the mat today, thanking ourselves for stretching and loving our bodies. Namaste yogis, I hope you enjoy your practice and I'll see you in another video.